What's up everyone tech cloud here and in this video I'm going to talk about the Nexus uh, 6 and Nexus 9 and I'm going to share my thoughts on uh, both of these devices. So let's uh, first talk about the Nexus uh, 6 because uh, I want to get rid of uh, most of the stuff uh, that I'm not uh, so excited about because uh, although the Nexus 6 looks uh, pretty good it's based on the new design uh, by Motorola that they have introduced with the Moto X of this year and I like the design and all however I have a few problems with it first of all the size is too big 6 inch I mean uh, 5 and a 5 uh, and a half uh, inch screen uh, would have been really nice 6 inch is slightly too big and also it has the 2k display I like uh, 2k display but uh, I like the powerful uh, CPU and GPUs uh, which can drive uh, those displays uh, such as the Tegra K1 not the Snapdragon S805 I have seen uh, S805 in uh, Samsung uh, Galaxy S5 Advance also the games and the apps run similarly on uh, what I've seen on 1080p devices rather uh, HTC was uh, I mean HTC M8 was giving a better performance although it is a stock Android I mean a stock Android it will always be faster than the OEM versions but still uh, I feel that uh, either a processor should be Snapdragon 810 or the screen should have been 1080p and with a smaller screen somewhere around 5 and between 5 and a half not more than that and I like that they have actually put f2.0 aperture with 13 megapixel camera. It seems like uh, a Sony sensor. I'm not so sure. I'm just guessing. And if it is the Sony sensor, then it seems that this is a older version of the Sony sensor with 13 megapixel uh, sensor. And we will see how well it does. But it do have uh, 4K video recording at 30 frames per second, which is very nice. And uh, we have the front camera 2 megapixel which is also pretty standard these days. So other than that I mean uh, similar sort of specs and other thing that I really don't like is the way the Google handled the sales of the Nexus lineup of the devices. I mean come on through the play store only why why you want to do that. I haven't seen uh, what are their uh, strategy this time around but I don't feel it will be any different from the previous one. I really wish they will do something and they will bring it to Amazon or something because people like me who are not living in US or UK, we, I really struggle to get my hands on uh, Nexus devices only because of this strategy from Google. I don't know why they do that. They have uh, so such a big infrastructure and all that. Google is such a big company. How hard it is for them. If Apple can do that, if Samsung can do that, why not Google can do that? Another thing that actually I'm really tired of is the LTE bands. I have seen that Apple has done it with the A8 processor. One processor includes all the LTE bands. Come on Google. If Apple can do that, why not Qualcomm or why not Google? Come on man. Anyways, those were really bitter words and I am really actually pissed off about those things. But uh, I can understand uh, many people actually don't face such problems so they are fine with it and they are okay with it. I will probably not buy Nexus 6. I'm not so sure at the moment but probably I will not buy Nexus 6. However, I'm really interested in Nexus 9 for a number of reasons. Number one, the display aspect ratio. Probably I think the first Android tablet with the aspect ratio of 4 by 3. Thank you so much. I love my iPad Air. I love it. Why? Because it gives me good performance and excellent, excellent screen aspect ratio. 4 by 3. Excellent screen aspect ratio. Why? It fit more contents in the same space. Give me better browsing experience. Only, only thing is 16 by 9 is good at is the video playback. I can sacrifice video playback for all the other good things that 4x3 can bring for me and I have never liked the big Android tablets 
only because of the 16 by 9 aspect ratio they feel really weird i don't want to use uh, my landscape uh, i mean use my tablets in landscape mode another thing that why i am so excited is the 64 bit tegra k1 i can't actually stress more really love it really love it desktop performance and i really mean it i have seen that 32 bit uh, tegra k1 and it is awesome and it is beast nothing can touch it at the moment and 64 bit imagine yeah yeah why else i love nexus 9 because it is from htc so why it is uh, from htc why i like it because boom sound dual front speaker with boom sound not only the just two dual uh, speakers stereo speakers that any oem can put rather the boom sound which much wider chambers and much nicer sounds and much nicer software tweaking i really love the sound of my htc m8 and i'm going to love it on uh, nexus 9 as well i really hope that another reason android l obviously android lollipop rather i just keep on saying android l android l android lollipop that's a uh, another big reason i really love this version of android so guys these are the thoughts on uh, nexus 6 and nexus 9 i know some people will agree some people will disagree but this is my personal thought which are only valid for me and i like to share my thoughts with my friends and also with my subscribers and uh, you might feel differently i'm fine with that and you should also be fine what are my thoughts which are based on my needs and uh, my limitations and my experience so guys i hope that you have liked the video thanks for watching and if you have liked the video make sure you press the thumbs up button at the bottom of this video take care and i will see you later bye